Okay. Awesome. Let's get where you can see this stuff okay. Alright, so this is a, a great song that I love. I need to move this mic so I can see it better. But, um, I love this song. Uh, the band is called Less Than Jake, and so I definitely discovered them because we have the same, you know, same name. Um, but also, the it's just really rad. Uh, it's really catchy. They say sing along in the chorus, but uh, even if they didn't, the chorus is like super sing along y. Um, but yeah, so let me see. I'm gonna close some stuff, move my microphone. Woo! I need to see that. Move this so I can see that screen. Okay, you might hear a little pop there. Alright, so the reason why we teach this song. The is we're gonna do kind of like half bar chords. I, I call them. Um, basically, it's just the top three strings, the so strings one, two, and three, of those songs. And um, but anyways, um, so the top three strings of bar chords. So like, say if we had an A, like this. So instead of barring it, like what are we doing with the top three strings? Well, we've got this finger, and then these two. So these are great for ska and reggae. I don't know if you can see those okay, but. So that would be our A, okay? So let's go through this. Um, oh yeah, and so then, let's see. So that's A, a minor. Six string, just these two, right? So then, then it's just all three of these. That's a minor chord. I just bar that with one finger. That's how I would recommend doing that too. These are still technically bar chords, so we might as well bar a little bit of it. Um, and then our fifth string shapes, we've got. So say we have a, a D. We're just doing. Three. Now we're not going to use the shape of the song. There's a place where you could. I'll show you where. <clears throat> I learned the song by tabs originally, but now I'm just like showing the theory of it. Um, I'll show you some spots where you can kind of switch it up if you would like, but I'm going to show you the main way that I saw how to play it. Because um, you have some options. Uh, let's see. So there's that for the major. The minor, you look at that. So D minor. It's going to be like kind of a diagonal. Excuse me, I'm holding my finger there. Okay. And so yeah, usually they're up, just up strums. And up strums are usually like three, three strings, right? Well, they don't have to be up strums. Like, there's a, a big debate I've had with some guys that have said like, reggae guitar players just do up strums, but I've seen some reggae bands and they just that on the offbeat but with the down strum so uh, there's definitely some differing opinions there um, <clears throat> but anyways there's one other bar chord so we did major minor um, this really is for those I don't know if you can actually um, you probably could get some sevens maybe um, but usually the major minors and there's three string chords so it's not too much going on there anyways see that like kind of like just that half step approach kind of stuff um so this song uh there's one other bar chord that not many people are too familiar with um jeez i think you're gonna disturb sorry that froze there i got a phone call from somebody uh, okay uh it's a, what we call a c chord so our bar chords are like e and e minor or a and a minor you know we move them up the neck there's also a um, a C chord one, and actually our D chord kind of bases off that. But yeah, as you kind of make a that's not right. So you have like with your pinky is the root. I'm like looking at this camera, and I should just like look at my hand. Okay, so even I don't use this that much, but it is cool. 
And so what this does do with these three string options, it gives us this option to kind of just play like your D chord shape. Like this one. We can move that up. If we're only playing those three strings, we can move it up. And yeah, and so the, yeah, so technically that uh, D chord, you can make into that. Play a different version of it. And that root here on fifth string D. So it is kind of, it's just a C chord. See if you can see it's okay. If you move it up, we're only going to bar three strings because those are what needs to be pushed down. So we're not playing this chord in this song. Some of you are like, oh, thank goodness. But, um, what does this say? Sorry. Can you do chant? <laughs> nice. I could do a little chanting, but this is not that kind of song. All right. <clears throat> So then we've got, uh, and that's one, the one we're going to use for F. So our F note is here. So that's F. So there, that's our first chord in the song. So we have F. Then we're going to do A minor. So three in a row. And then D minor. It's a little diagonal. And then C chord, we're going to do this one. This is where you could do this shape. But I like the C going to the B flat. There's only one spot in this song I'll show you where I think. I think you might use that shape. Uh, the taps say otherwise, but I, um, there, there, you have that option. That's just kind of too much moving around. So for the C, we're going to use the shape. And then B flat. Two frets down. So we've got this D. So here is F, A minor, D minor. Okay, so that's our, our main idea of the song. So, and you're gonna do each one twice. So you go. So let's try that together. Ready, one, two, ready, go, F. My bad. Okay, so that's that idea. <clears throat> that's the intro and the, the verse. Um, if you guys remember in St. So, they do these chords. And it's just based off of different ones and so they have this one so they do the C shape for that E instead of going all the way down so they can keep those chords close together and that's what we're doing and those are just the top three strings of the first part So, let's do that again. F. It's all in the fifth fret. That's kind of our home base, which is kind of like home base for a lot of bar chord stuff if you think about it. You ready? One, two, ready, go. F. Down, up. Okay, then we get towards the end of the verse. Because we have this, um, when it says down the drain, do, she, C. Then we do this D minor. So some of these, the chord that's on the end of the line is just kind of showing you where you're going to go. It's, you're still going to play it too. So like if you look at, um, give you lessons on how to ruin your friendships, that F is just still going to be twice. It's just F, F, you can think of it at the beginning of the line. It's just so you don't like... Um, forget and honestly like the pattern repeats and repeats but same thing with this down the drain you go it's showing you you're gonna go to a D minor but you're gonna play that D minor only twice and then this is kind of where I might do that other one 
Uh, I'll show you the one I do. I do this C, and then it's G minor up here. We are ring finger on the 12th fret. Or this one is kind of easier right there, but it's the only time I would use that C chord otherwise. You have this C, this C chord, so these two, and then this one. And then you just kind of put this down. That's a C and G minor really nicely. Um, I would m maybe do that one, but then um, go to that B flat there. Don't try to do like move your, um, don't try to move this. Because you're going to want to use this B flat. I like, because you'll see in the chorus, but that's kind of the idea. But I'm going to do this one. This one I'm more f familiar with. All right, so again, we have, so I sit and wait and wonder on the D minor. Ready on? Two D minors, this one, ready, one, two, ready, go, down, up. And then we do C. Then we're going to the chorus. So we have that again, that kind of, I'd say this is the pre-chorus, and I should have notated it that way, but, so I sit and wait and wonder, ready, one. Is a bit messed, messed up, huh? Ooh, it might be upload stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to just check it after. If it, if it sucks, I'll just rebroadcast. Um, but yeah, and then you can check out the YouTube um, version of that too. If it's not working, working. Okay. Alright, uh, but yeah, my mind doesn't say I'm having any trouble. 
dropped uh, dropped issues. I haven't dropped any frames or anything, so I don't think we're quite there. Um, all right, yeah. So again, the first three. There are four times each. Man, sorry, it's so bright in here. It's like the it's like, it's like washing out the the iPhone camera on my hand.
awesome. Let's go to that pre-chorus. So what is it? I might wonder. That one's pretty tough. So you have this, um,
this semester. Awesome. Take it easy.